Hello, how are you doing? Enjoying your morning? Oh, still waking up a little bit, I see. Good girl. So this is a um, this is a balcony chair that we brought in from the storms recently, and she's kind of claimed it. She loves it. It's a part of a set that's supposed to be out here, but obviously one stays inside now, at least until I get an office chair. I wanted to show you one thing this morning. Look at this. What do you think about this? What do you think about wearing this? This is actually one of the world's smallest cameras. You can take it out here, out of the case. Look at that. Do you think you can wear that today? We're gonna see what it's like to be a day in the life of a cat. So yeah, this is our camera. It's kind of crazy. This thing is like the size of your thumb. Then I got this elastic strap, and I think it's kind of more supposed to be a wrist mount, but it looked like it might be a decent collar option. I kind of looks like a, a collar. Yeah, this could be a collar. Throw the camera in here, and I think we're good. I feel really bad because she's being so, so cute. Hey, we gotta wake up. It's time to wake up. Do you want breakfast? Do you want food? You wanna go play? Lazy girl this morning. Couldn't be a Super Cooper episode without Coop. Looks like he's being pretty lazy as well. Chelsea's up getting her hair done this morning. So it's just me and the pets. And here's the third one. Hey, Coda, good morning. Very lazy morning. All right, Bella, so you're probably not gonna love this, but we're just gonna have to go for it, okay? Gonna put this around your neck. Good girl. If we <laughs> situate it here, does that work for you? Who's a good girl? Oh, wow. Hey. Okay, so I'm editing this part right now, and this is outrageous. I couldn't even hear it in, in real life when this moment was happening, but she was purring. Listen to the audio from the camera that's pretty much nonstop. Bella, are you happy? Good girl. So I guess she's purring internally more than we know. There's not quite as much fuss as I was expecting, although... It is kind of a little low. We're just looking at the, the chair. Maybe if we get moving. Shaking the food bag. Always works. Are you all done? You feeling good? <laughs> This is so silly. What do you say we go see Coop? Sorry for the mess out here, by the way. We're still going through renovations and trying to figure out electrical and stuff, so everything's been in disarray. But um, typically, we hang out in bed in the mornings, and typically, she is very, very sweet, although Coop's refusing to get up. Good girl. I know this morning's been a little bit weird. Chels woke up really early. Usually, she's one of the last ones out of bed. Actually, he's usually the last one out of bed, but she always comes in and she gets some snuggles. Are you gonna make some biscuits or what? Do you, what's your plan here? She's kind of like on a sliding scale. She starts the day really, really sweet and then she, <laughs> she's making biscuits. Live biscuit action. I just can't wait to edit this and hear this audio. She starts the day really, really sweet and then she kind of turns into a bit of a demon as the day goes on, but that's just how she is, isn't it, buddy? I bet you guys are feeling a little gypped this morning. I'm at least gonna do my part. Typically, she's tucked into my legs like this in my little nook. And that's about accurate for Coop. Oh, she's on the prowl. This is great, because we can follow her. Surveying her kingdom and thinking about possibly going down and messing with Coda. Ah, I see what it is. We've got some guys here working on our trees. She wants to see what they're up to. Always checks on him too. <laughs> He's just waiting for her to start something. No beef this morning, huh? All right, we're on a beef-free diet. I think she's just being really good for the camera. She thought about coming to mess with you, buddy. It's one of her favorite pastimes. So I gotta be honest, this is one spoiled girl. This is like 80% of her days is just lounging around the house in the sunspots that she can find. Obviously as the sun, <laughs> obviously as the sun kind of moves around, the sunspots move and she adjusts accordingly. Sometimes upstairs is the place to be. This is probably her most normal one. Sometimes this one's really, really good, especially in the summertime, the sun just kind of blasts straight in. It's been a few hours, but she's more or less just kind of watched the tree guys and hung out in the sun spot. I'm thinking it might be time for a treat. 
These are her absolute weakness. Look what I got. Oh, here she comes a running. <laughs> it's about to get real hot and bothered up in here. And to make sure we don't gain weight from all these treats, how about a little playtime? She got it. <laughs> she's so sweet as she's murdering things. She's sweet as she gets her prey and walks away to go eat it. Look how proud she is just parading this around the house. And she's gonna lay on it. This is the same thing she does with lizards when she catches them. Good hunt, Bella. The family can eat this week thanks to your hard work. So I think Chelsea's going for a world record at hair appointments day. Typically it takes about two and a half to three and a half hours. She has extensions, so she goes in, she gets the old ones taken out, gets new ones put in and like a new spot and whatever. And she does it once every six months, so it's usually not a big deal. But I guess today they're just super behind and it, she's had a horrible experience. She's on her way home right now. I think Bella might even be missing her a little bit. I think something feels off. She's here just kind of waiting. I do wanna test one thing. So I've been kind of editing this video as we go today and uh, one of my favorite parts is how at certain times you can hear her purring. Like when I walk up to her or I hold her and things like that. So I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna walk over here in the kitchen. We can keep an eye on what she's doing. I'm just gonna be quiet. What do you guys think? Is she purring while I'm in a totally different room? She's looking for me, kind of. Not, not really. I'm gonna see what happens if I walk up to her, but keep walking by. She's following me around the house. Oh, Coda. <laughs> You be careful, buddy. She's been in a weird mood lately. She's really been antagonizing him. What if I come up and I just kind of do a fake pat? Not touching her. And then I'm gonna walk away. And it looks like Chelsea's home. Oh, alarm has been sounded. Could it be? <laughs> the, the whole family's stoked. I'm curious, we're not gonna know until we go into editing, but I'm curious if she's praying right now. Do you wanna try picking her up? See what happens? Hi, sis. Hi. What a good girl. It doesn't really want. It doesn't really want. I mean, to be fair, it's kinda tough. It's been like a chill day, the boys have been good, and I was getting her full attention. Oh, look at that. A Christmas homicide. So I've actually been thinking about it today. One thing I really want to do mm -hmm. is a video where we just see what makes her purr. Since this kind of detects her purrs, we could try like different treats. We could try walking by her. We could try different people picking her up. Okay, different well, toys. When you do that, I'm going to the mall because we both know there's literally nothing that has anything to do with me. So. I think you might be surprised. You, I think you might have to make that video by yourself because she does not want me. Also, let's see the hair. The good old eight hours of, of hair. Here. Wow, it's it long. It does not normally take that It's long. beautiful. That oh, we told him. We told him. I know. It's okay. I know you're frustrated. So anyway, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you guys next time on Super Gruber Sunday. <laughs> It's, it gets dark at like 5.30 in Florida right now, so it's very frustrating, especially when our lights are still out from the lightning strike. So we will see you guys later. We're definitely gonna use more of this. I wanna try it out on the boys. We're gonna have to figure out some way to set it up because they have more hair. I don't think you're gonna be able to see anything. <laughs> Codas would be terrible. <laughs> it would be so bad. And like I said, I really do wanna do that thing where we kinda of find out what makes her tick. Like does she purr harder for cheese or for chicken? Or does she like her ball tower or her bird? Or I, I don't know. She I think likes there's, you. There's a lot of things we could do, so. Her likes you. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Peace out.